stay here in New York City in the 60s. Had a look at Central Park there tomorrow on the show. John Stamos will be here. And Annie Lennox is going to perform for us. And you know that new series on HBO Carnival? Mm -hmm. Yes, we have Clea Duval on the show who is the clairvoyant on the show. Yes. Yeah. All right, so here she comes now, one of Hollywood's most sought-after actresses. I'm and now, so excited. In a new film, keep yourself together. I'm trying. It's good. The new film is called Beyond Borders. Well, it literally transformed her life. Here's the Academy Award-winning actress, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> Time on our show, but you know, went to went to uh, college here uh, at NYU, and you you know about our show, right? Yeah, I'm not a morning person. <gasps> okay. You've so heard of it I, though, I, right? No, I have watched it, yeah. but I'm I'm always amazed at how awake you both are. <laughs> the coffee? Did you try yeah, it? Uh, yeah. It's really good. <laughs> so Angelina Jolie, so nice to see you. Look at that face. Uh, now you understand? Let's study this face. Now the eyes. You understand? You have to understand here that we are mildly obsessed with you, partially because <laughs> you've been so unavailable to us, <laughs> and and partially because we just love to look at your. Face. We think it's the perfect face. Every morning. Every Thank morning. You, Rick. You're a beautiful woman. Oh, so. well, this is all Arabic. <laughs> Every morning before we come out, we just have a picture of your face. <laughs> and we, and we kiss it and then we go <laughs> on. <laughs> so you got a lot going on in your life, huh? You're a, a new mom. Yeah. You adopted right. a little boy in Cambodia. Well, now, this role that you played in Beyond Board has really had an effect on you, huh? Yeah, I read this uh, this script about five years ago, and um, and I I knew very little about aid work and very little about really what happens in, across the world, and and um, and this this the script at that time the the film didn't go, and so I decided I would take the journey and I would travel and. And I did, and and, uh, and it completely changed my life. In other words, you went to where the script would have taken you had the movie been made at the time? Yeah. Wow. So you went before you even made the movie. Yeah, and, and I kind of never expected the film to be shot, and then when it was shot, I... It was, I was that much more invested in, and I had... You understand, people are out there seeing the work. She... They're not locked in Long Island City in a little <laughs> studio doing 22 minutes, you understand? They're out there, they're savoring, they're grasping, they're living their hey, life. Angelina, can I just tell you something? He walks to work every day, that's how close he lives here. And, and speaking, of, speaking of little life, he walks across the street. Don't tell her that. Okay. In case you want to go visit. So no. You, so you, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I know, no, I know. I just have to say that you have become sort of synonymous with with good works with for what you've done as a goodwill ambassador and for helping people be aware of uh, landmines and and starvation and it yeah, just you yeah. seem sort of tireless in your efforts and this all stemmed from traveling that first time because of that yeah I mean I you know we, we all we are all so so fortunate and it and it does sound so maybe corny or preachy but I I went to to parts of Africa and and, and really saw how the majority of people in this world live and and I just was shocked at the amount of suffering and the amount of things I was not taught in school and not aware of and are not in the headline news so mm -hmm. so I've changed and I make it uh, I, every morning I try to find out what's really happening mm -hmm. so uh, you went to Cambodia and that's where you found uh, your little guy? I went to Cambodia uh, first for a film and then twice at the UN and, okay. and decided to adopt I've always wanted to adopt since I was since I can remember um, and then I, um, yeah, I met so my you, son. So you adopted a Cambodian uh, baby? Yes. Maddox. And his name is Maddox? Yes. Yeah. And, and did you fall in love at first sight with Maddox? Uh, Maddox was asleep when I first met him. Yeah. I met, um... Oh. Oh, yes, there's Maddox. <laughs> no. So... Now, don't you think... I, this is going to sound strange, but don't you think the two of you look alike? The more I see the two of you together, photographed in pictures, I go, no. I oh, I'd know. love to think so. I'm I kidding. really, I'm beginning to think the two of you really look alike. Sure, I mean. So where is Maddox now? He's at the hotel. He's here with you. I'm sure, yeah, he's drawing something. <laughs> <laughs> so it must be a big change in your life to all of a sudden have a, have a little baby to take care of and a little has, young but life. He, he, uh, he came home while we were filming in Africa. So it was, uh, I'd never changed a diaper, I'd never made a bottle, I didn't know if they had ten or two bottles a day, I knew nothing about children, so 
um, I had this extreme le learning um, overnight sure. um, on how to be a mom, and, and a lot of the African women helped me and, mm -hmm. and taught me how to carry him in a sling and taught me how to sew. Well, if you need to know anything more about being a mom. <laughs> Angelina, and she's not done yet. No, I'm done. Are you I'm done. No, I'm not pregnant. <laughs> she may be I just Angelina. look that way. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to come back with Angelina Jolie.